Well, the fight against postal service slowdowns continues now. This time, residents are taking it upon themselves to let the government know with a protest. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Espayot explains. Tell me what democracy looks like. Protesters lined up on this sidewalk right outside State Representative Dan Muser's office in Pottsville. If we don't stand up in this moment, then when are we going to stand up? You know, like this is our post office, this is our country. The crowd is angered by General Postmaster Louis DeJoy for making cuts and removing essential post office equipment. What is being done over the last couple of weeks by the Trump administration and Postmaster General DeJoy is sabotaging the post office. Muser says $10 billion from the CARES Act has been designated to the post office. With many people looking at mailing in ballots in the next election and people depending more on mail services amid the pandemic, some argue the post office is more essential than ever before. He says Democrats are using the post office for political gain. The Democrats are trying to make something out of, out, out of nothing, and because they have a political agenda to distort the election through universal ballots. Displeased with State Representative Muser's response, they chose this spot right outside his office. Whether you're Republican, Democrat, or Independent, we all need to mail in our ballots if we can't make it. The group is demanding DeJoy reverse all the changes, bring back the equipment, and even resign. Until then, they are asking people to show their support to postal service workers. In Pottsville, Rachel Espiat, Eyewitness News. The Schuylkill County Democrats plan to have another protest next Thursday. Protesters, uh, protesters are asking people to buy postal stamp to stand in solidarity with the post office.